Seni bela diri magazine producer Azlan Ghani does not look like a weakling as he goes through his paces. His movements are lithe but soft and silky when he demonstrates his family's heirloom Silat Melayu Chris Lok Sambilan. When he was young, Azlan spent only a few hours in school daily because he was born premature. His first wife had died of leukemia. The organisation where he worked closed down when he was already a senior journalist. Okay, pada uh, 1984, uh, yang mana pengalaman pertama saya iaitu uh, apabila isteri saya uh, sakit, isteri saya uh, mengedap uh, leukemia dan uh, dalam uh, itu saya telah menjaga isteri saya selama 10 hari uh, tak keluar rumah ya, 10 hari saya jaga betul melihat badan dia yang sihat lama-lama dia mengecut akhirnya dia jadi uh, gelap uh, dan bila dia minum air pun kalau air sirap dia minum uh, dia keluar juga dengan air sirap tu juga dalam satu waktu dia keluar dan uh, akhirnya dia meninggal uh, The straw that broke the camel's back was when a stroke left him half paralyzed when he was in his early 30s. After having exhausted all avenues in seeking treatment, he turned to Silat Melayu Chris Lok Sambilan and miraculously managed to heal his stricken body. To Azlan, his recovery from the stroke was a wake-up call. Jadi apa yang saya nak buat adalah cuba nak memelihara permainan Melayu lama. The silat is a combination of health promotion exercises and deadly armed and unarmed combat techniques. It is rapidly attracting enthusiasts all over the country and abroad. As a Malay, of course, I would like to preserve this culture because I think it's uh, not only uh, what is that self-defense, but you get to know about uh, the Malay uh, weapons, how we dress, and then uh, the dress that we use. Uh, tell uh, what kind of person you are. So you learn about the Malay tradition actually, the Malay philosophy of I think, philosophy of life, you learn through this. So rather than let it look, uh, you know, disappear, so we get involved in this and we carry on maybe we can pass it to our children. I have a back ache problem, chronic back problem for the past more than 20 years. So after three months, I realized that my back ache you know, sort of disappeared slowly. I was previously admitted of uh, uh, ter- ter- TB, tuberculosis, uh, but I, maybe in, uh, the exercise or the, or the practice of ST or Selamat Tua uh, helped in, in, in to cure the, the problem. What I'm doing now is I'm spreading the, uh, the benefit of Selamat Tua and to promote uh, the practice of Uh, this art as a healthy lifestyle in our, our company and also in my community so that we can help uh, the people out there to make the the, the, the Selamat Tua as a preventive uh, exercise to combat the, the illness. Uh, the other aspect was I had a problem with my so- shoulder which is called frozen shoulder. Uh, after learning the tips from here, everything is normal until today. His exposure as editor of the magazine Pendeka held him in good stead when he started his own magazine, Seni Bela Diri, 10 years ago. Azlan had interviewed more than a thousand Malay silat masters and teachers and their respective arts for his magazine. Yang sebenarnya saya dapat rasa yakin, percaya yang kita akan jadi Malaysia sebagai pusat seni bela diri dunia kerana bila kita jumpa guru di Malaysia ni pertama kita ramai grand master, kita ramai maha guru kemudian kita ada ra- banyak perguruan bukan kita ada kapuera di sini kita ada kendo, kita ada aido, kita ada selembang, kita ada kalara payat kita ada permainan uh, korea, permainan kayu, kita ada oh terlalu banyak Malaysia mampu, Malaysia boleh boleh menjadi pusat bela diri dunia bukan kerana kita ada ramai orang master bukan kerana kita ada ramai orang kerana sikap kita kita boleh duduk semeja he also attributed his pursuit to his late father he said that he inherited his deep interest in martial art from his late father Azlan said he would not be able to attain his present achievement if not for the support of his family 
dalam kereta ilmu bila dia ni kita membuat kita lebih uh, faham tu ada kita komunikasi kita kita interaksi yang tu satu dengan kita bercakap kita berbincang eh itu, itu yang seronoknya kita disiplinkan diri kita kita faham hendak isteri kita kita bercakap dengan dia dan kita dengan anak-anak jadi kita positif kita sikap positif jadi uh, tidak ada masalah lepas itu hingga lah sekarang ni dia begitu memberi uh, sokongan For many, setbacks mean disillusionment and certain failure. Forged in adversity, Azlan is making waves as his only response is to gird his loins and meet his ordeals head on. Norazam Durahman, The Star, Malaysia.